guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to show you how to create this is smoky eyes I was very inspired they say and I was like let me just go all out let me do a dramatic win smoky eyes dramatic lashes uh, bull lips so if you want to learn how I created this look please keep on watching so the first thing I did as per usual is apply an eye base it's very important when you're working with such bold colors and you want them to really last you the whole day I'm using lemonade eye primer by benefit then I grabbed the Tarte's Pro palette from Tarte and I actually this palette inspired me to just grab all these different colors and create like a smoky eye using a bunch of different shades so as you guys will see I am grabbing first the shade innocent and I'm applying it with my 224 brush by MAC, applying it on my crease and doing windshield wiper motion going back and forth from the outer corner of the eye to the inner corner and just really taking my time. This eyeshadow is going to help me just blend out the other eyeshadows that we'll be applying next. So you want to build it up a little bit and take your time and blend, blend, blend so there is no harsh lines. Next I am going to grab the shade Mud and this is more of a warm tone. Um, it's more towards like a pink tone but I thought it was really beautiful for just like a little bit of warmth to give a little bit of warmth to my eye. So what I'm doing now is just concentrating the color right on the outer part of the eye and then basically blended it, blending it inward to the inner part of the eye but really keeping it concentrated on the outer part so make sure you don't put too much of this color because these shadows are very pigmented so you want to start with a little bit and then build it up you don't want to grab too much of this shadow because then your eye might end up looking red so you just want to make sure you just write the you grab the right amount and you build it up and as you can see I'm taking my time and really working that brush very gently don't do it too harsh because when you put a lot of pressure onto the brush it gives you harsh lines so the less pressure the better now I'm grabbing the E45 brush by Sigma and I'm just dabbing that color like pressing it a little bit more before I blend it pressing it onto the outer part and then to create a little bit more definition I'm gonna do this shadow drama this is more of like a purpley color it's more definitely more darker than the one that we uh, just did but this is gonna start giving me that definition so it's all about gradually building uh, darkness instead of going for the dark eyeshadow like right away we're just building the darkness into the eye so now what I'm going to do is just with the E45 brush as you see now I'm working with a smaller brush because I just don't want that dark shadow to go all over the place I'm gonna start pushing it inward to the inner part of the eye and just gradually like blended it inward as you see as you see me doing another one of my favorite brushes is this one by mac this one is a 221 uh, brush and i just absolutely love this brush because it's, it, it, it doesn't only just apply the shadow where you want it to be but it also blends and it's smaller than the 224 brush it's just like perfect now i'm grabbing the dark shadow from the palette which is called punk and with a more pencil brush as you can see I'm going to a more smaller brush because I really don't want to put this shadow all over especially because it's black so it will take away the gradient effect of the colors I'm going to dab it onto my eye on the outer pore uh, outer part of my eye um, and then I'm gonna blend it up with this um, brush from MAC the 221 I'm just gonna blend out the edges you know don't you basically don't want to blend where you apply the shadow you want to blend out the edges so um, what I realized is I, I think I apply a little bit too much of that black so I'm going back to the red mud and I'm applying a little bit onto the edges to kind of like warm it up a bit then I'm going to now use the shadow glam which is a beautiful like a golden tone um, shadow but it is more like a vanilla I would say a uh, very cream eyeshadow uh, the texture is powdery but I'm saying like the actual shade is like a cream like a vanilla cream um, ice cream and it's so pretty and as you can see I'm just applying it with a um, flat brush a dabbing and I'm just dabbing it onto my eye you can actually use your fingers as well then I'm adding a little bit more warmth with the E45 brush I'm going back and just connecting those two eyeshadows with the mud eyeshadow so there is no harsh lines in between and you can see they they're gradually fading together and 
there we go. I'm just working myself into those corners and going back to the 224 brush by MAC and just blending out the edges at the top so there's no harsh lines at all. So now let's move on to the eyeliner and I'm using here the Grandiose Liner by Lancome and this one has an amazing technology on the cap that you can bend it sideways, left, right or keep it straight. Um, so you can actually work instead of the, the pencil um, controlling you, you can control the actual cap app you can control the actual pencil and create the perfect liner you can also use a little bit of concealer as you can see to clean up the edge of that eyeliner to just make sure it's a little bit more sharp and you want to bring that eyeliner into the all the way into the inner corner and I actually did do a little bit of a thicker eyeliner so I kept it thin on the inner corner and made it thick on the outer part now I'm just carving that crease at this uh, at this moment because I just love to wait until the eyeliner is actually in place to carve the crease instead of doing it before because sometimes we might do it too low or too high and it just won't be as pretty. So that's a great tip that you should apply to your makeup application if you haven't yet. Just wait until you do the liner and then carve the crease. I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Um, so now let's move on to the lashes. I am going to use the lashes in the style um, Sriracha by Iris Beauty and this ones are actually a little bit dramatic but they're beautiful and after you apply your lashes I used a white clear glue so once it dries it's white but I always like to retouch the eyeliner just to make sure there is no like um, reflection of the glue then I went back to the mud eyeshadow the one that is like a warm pink tone and I applied it with a flat brush on my bottom lashes and now I'm gonna start finishing up the skin because I only did foundation I'm gonna use the shape tape concealer in the shade light I am going to apply this underneath my eyes just on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my forehead I'm gonna skip the rest where you usually highlight but just because I just wanted to keep it maybe just a little bit more subtle on the skin and just keep the focus on the eye but bringing the eyes forward so that's why I wanted to put a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes and also like contour that nose just a bit. Uh, so now I'm just blending everything out with my beauty blender and after you're done blending you want to set your under eyes and also all around your face so I am going to use the translucent powder by Laura Mercier and I used a beauty blender to just dab it onto my under eye and just let it sit there for a little bit until I finish up my contour. I also apply that translucent powder um, basically all over, uh, also down the bridge of my nose as you're seeing me doing and I'm just now taking away the loose powder from um, the rest of my space except the under eye. Now I'm going to use the Kat Von D contour kit, the powder contour kit and I'm going to start bronze in my face and I am going to apply this bronzer on the sides of my forehead and like to give me like a more all around bronze. I didn't want it to be too dramatic. I just wanted it to be just um, all around bronze instead of like too sharp everywhere. So that's why I'm just sweeping that powder all over. And once I finish doing the powder contour, I am going to take away the loose powder from underneath my eyes. As you can see, I'm just doing one side because I already finished the other side just to make it quicker for the tutorial. And I used a crown brush, which I will list the numbers down below. Next, I am going to apply my uh, mascara from Maybelline for my bottom lashes. I love this mascara and I love the one because even if you have smaller la bottom lashes, it will st you'll still be able to grab them without ruining your concealer or be being the, the brush so thick that mascara gets everywhere because your lashes are so short so that's why I love this mascara and the wand. Um, so now it's time for the highlighter so I use the Joyer highlighter in the shade Citrin and it's such a beautiful um, highlighter and it's like kind of like a moussey creamy texture uh, unfortunately I couldn't show it because it broke on me so I only have like a few like a few little powdery powders left but I love this powder so much this highlighter I should say. And I'm applying it right on top of my cheekbones and I'm just doing the kissy face because it really targets the bone, especially because I have fat cheeks. So I have to really suck those cheeks so I can see, I can feel the bone <laughs> being so dramatic. Uh, so now let's move on to the last step, which is the lips. 
and I am going to use the shade Baked from Lipland. This one is from the M. Reese collection, and I just absolutely love this shade. It turned out very nice with this makeup look. It's not, it's a bold shade, but it's not super nude, and it's not super dark, and it's not super bright. It's just like the perfect tone. So this basically concludes the overall makeup. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in a comment below what you guys thought, and what do you guys want to see next? Let me know some suggestions below. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching until the end, for keeping up with me. And don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.